Open to using this by editing and to be continuing commoners. Manish, you can ask question. If I will see her, she will be happy. If I see her, she will be happy. Two, two futures cannot be together. So one will be simple present, another will be simple future. Yeah. He is senior than me. He is senior to me. Any adjective or any comparative ending in OR is followed by two, not by them. So he is senior to me, junior to me, inferior to me. Yes. Can you say me what does it mean? Can you say me what it means? Because in indirect, we always write subject first, then what. Can you say what it means? Yeah. He is angry upon me. He is angry with me, angry with the person, angry at something, at behavior, angry at behavior. So the uh, uh, verb angry, uh, uh, the adjective angry takes the preposition with, angry with a person. At something, understand? Huh? Yes. Is all furniture at all? Uh, furniture cannot be in plural form. Is all furniture is singular form? Uh, yeah. Is all furniture is what is the sentence? Are old. Uh, is all furniture is old. We will not write furniture. Uh, if you want to make it plural, we'll say sets of furniture. Is all sets of furniture are new or old, as you like? One cannot say what will happen to himself. Uh, one can always. One cannot say what will happen to himself. One cannot say what happens to him. Yes. Which is easier to learn, Hindi, English, Urdu? Which is easiest to learn? Because you, when you are comparing out of three, it will be easiest, superlative degree. Which is easiest to learn, uh, Hindi, Urdu, or English? Always compare. Between two, use comparative more than two superlative. So, which is the easiest to learn? That is uh, out of Hindi, Urdu, and English. Yes. He gave me a most perfect answer. He gave me a perfect answer. Perfect itself is in superlative form. It, it doesn't take any more. He gave me a perfect answer. Either you or I are wrong. Either you or I am wrong. Either you or I am wrong. Right. Actually, in either or, the verb will agree with the second one. So, it will agree with I. Either you or I am wrong. Right. Yes. He has given his examination. He has appeared at his examination. Not given. Exam is to be appeared at. Mm -hmm. He has appeared at his examination. Yes. He only died this morning. He died only this morning. The order is wrong. Yes. He died. What will be first? <laughs> only this morning. Yes. I asked him what is your age. I asked him what his age is or what his age was. I asked him what his age was. In indirect age speech, was. if the reporting verb is past tense, reported speech will also be past tense. Mm -hmm. So I asked him what his age was. My, the poet has described about nature. The poet has described the nature. Describe doesn't take any preposition. Describe verb doesn't take any preposition. Yeah. My servant has come yesterday. My servant came yesterday. The oh, yesterday is always used in simple past. V2 will be used. My servant came yesterday. Next question. Bread and butter make a good food. Bread and butter makes a good food because bread and butter is a single food. It is always taken together as a single food. Thanks a lot. Manish, we yes. will continue it next day.